Hi everybody. Um, I just want to share with you guys what I'm up to. Off camera, I decided to just turn the camera on and share with you guys what I'm doing. This product that I'm showing you is from Daiso. It's a soft clay. Um, Daiso Japan. The color I'm using is pink and the packaging looks just like this. And it costs $1.50. And I have some right here. And what I want to do is, and what I've been doing, is making um, mold impressions. And this stuff dries up in seconds. I'm going to show you right now. So, and it's air dry. So if you want to play with polymer clay but you don't have the patience or hurt your hands, this stuff is really, really soft. You don't even have to put any kind of powder or anything in there. Just press it in. Just keep pressing and the excess goes to the sides. The only suggestion I have is once you open your package, make sure you seal it up really good in an airtight bag so that your clay doesn't dry up on you. Get it as flat as you like. You really don't have to deal with these um, the side right here. You can just trim it off. It trims off so easily with scissors. And I'm just going to let the excess go into... I'm going to grab it and let it go into the next mold. The next image Just push it in. You really don't have to. I'm telling you to grab the excess, but I do because I like to use as much as possible up. And you squeeze it really hard and you the excess pops right up. You don't have to pre-treat it. I don't think you can roll this stuff out. We'll try right now. But I don't think you can. You know how polymer clay you can roll it out? I haven't tried. Okay, there's that one. And I thought I had another one. Oh, I do. It's right here. These are always nice to have to use as embellishments. You can paint them, you can stick a um, head pin into them and turn them into a charm. And these are the Martha Stewart molds. These are, were sent to me in some Happy Mail. And I just like to push to get as much as possible to ooze out to the side so that I can grab it and put it into the next mold, the next impression, which would be down here. And if you needed a really flat back, probably push it down and get, get it really flat. And let me pop this one out that I did off camera. Look how pretty that is. Here's the mold with the impression and here is the clay. And it, you can just cut it right off with scissors. Sometimes you can, you're lucky enough to pull it off. Just let that dry. And sometimes you're lucky enough to still be able to reuse whatever's left. That one's almost set up, so I don't know if it's going to work. You really don't need a lot, and it is very, very, very lightweight. I'll show you right now. Polymer, polymer clay 
from my experience, can get heavy. This stuff is very, 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 very thin. Okay. Let me uh, grab the one we just did together. It should be ready. And there you go. Just trim off the ends. Let them dry for a good 20 minutes and you're good to go. And let's see if I can pop out this other one. We did the bows. Okay, that one's not too ready. Not yet, folks. Meanwhile, that dries. I'm going to pop out other ones that I did off camera. And these are homemade molds. And that is a button I did from a button that I had. I think I want more buttons, so I'm going to make some more. See, I give it a good smush, and most of it just comes up. See if I could pop these out. This is a butterfly I did off camera. Look how pretty that is. So let me show you how light they are. Look, I could just blow on them and it's just going to take off. You see, that's how light they are. So they're perfect to use on cards and make a few butterflies to have on hand. You know, maybe I did do it on camera. I'm not sure. <laughs> did we do that one together? Not even sure. Let's put these aside. I want to pop these out. See that? Picks up the impression quite well. And they're not sticky. They feel like paper. Just a circle. Look at that. And all you have to do is trim this up or even sometimes, like I said, pull it off. It's like light as a feather. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how light that is. how pretty that is. And 
let's see if any of these other ones we did together, let's see if the button's ready. Yep. And we did a fern together. That one's not quite ready, but I'm going to attempt to pull it out anyways. There we go. And let's see. We did those. We did the butterfly. Look at that. Let's do the bows. Are they ready? Okay, it looks like this one wants to crack. This one's not ready. You just get scissors. Once it's completely dry, you could just get scissors and trim it off. And there went the scissors underneath my table. See that? And then I have this one here that I did off the of camera. And it is a nice, very intricate heart. Maybe I should let this one sit a little longer. It's only been sitting for a few minutes, but I want to try anyways. Very nice. They're roses, you see. So if I would have let it sit for a little longer, it would have came out even better. But that's nice already. And those scissors that fell. <laughs> Basically just trim off the ends. done. Isn't that gorgeous? Alrighty, so that's that. Well, let's see if we can roll it out. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.